First and foremost, I want to give kudos to Angel Reese. We have been right. Rudy has been riding her. And she deserved some credit for going out there and guiding her team to a win in a game where a lot of people watched and paid attention to. And they were down and getting their butt kicked. And she kept the same energy. My whole thing with her was about keeping the same energy. You know, even on the court, off the court, when you're winning, when you're down, when the refs does not give you the calls that you like, when people are sexualizing you, even though you're wearing certain clothes that makes you become sexualized. Keep the same energy. I love the rah-rah. Um, I, you know, so you're making layups, you're finishing around the basket, and that was a big thing for us. But now you're firmly in the rookie of the year com conversation. Rudy probably doesn't agree, but she has eight double doubles. A lot of them is her own offensive rebounds, but she's a dog on the offensive rebound. She's just as magnificent offensive rebounding as Caitlin Clark is passing. That's what she brings to the game. Her motor is high, 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 high. She never stops. When that shot goes up, she don't care who's there. She's a dog. She's going at it. She's throwing people out the way. So I just wanted to give her credit, you know, because we do talk a lot of shit about her. We thought that Rudy thought that she wasn't even going to make a roster. And I thought that she would still make a roster and she'll be okay in the WNBA. But she far surpassed my expectation of what I thought she was going to be. So I am going to give her a shout out. She's, you know, she's scoring the ball a lot more now. Um, and she's leading this team and maybe they might get the eight seed over Caitlin Clark team. Um, I prefer to see Caitlin Clark. I'd rather see her in her offensive game because it's exciting to me. It's exciting to most men that watch this league who have perspective of basketball, you know, of seeing interesting deep shots that kind of resembles a certain player in the NBA um, compared to a lot of missed layups and flailing and uncoordinated type things sometimes. But um, she has narrowed a gap on the rookie. She, I don't think she caught Caitlin Clark, but she's narrowed a gap. Um, so shout out to her. Um, shout out in that game. But Christy Sides. She needs to be freaking fired. What was Iowa coach name? We don't know. Lisa, Lisa Bluter. She just retired from so Iowa. Bring her. She's no longer. Maybe that was a setup to get her over here to coach Indiana because Caitlin Clark needs, needs to be let off the leash. I know Angel Reese says she's a dog, but Caitlin Clark needs to be let off the leash because that's going to open up so much more things for this Indiana Fever team. Um, when she starts shooting the way she does and she's really, you know, has the whole control of the game and she can do what she wants and the rest of her team, all they have to do is run up the court because she's the most unselfish superstar. She's going to, she's looking to make passes. She wants to get people layups and easy scores. All you have to do is run. All you have to do is run and she's going to find you. But when that ball gets to the half court offense, let's get her some good streaks. I don't know if it's between Caitlin not running, you know, setting up the screens better or her teammates are not setting better screens for her. But it's just terrible sometimes to watch their offense in the half-court offense. Um, but we're here to see her. It's exciting. And then she's shown and she's proven that she can score the ball and, and do all the things that's needed to be done. But if she gets the ball and they let her do what she has to do, everybody game's going to open up. Her and Aaliyah. Boston has become a spectacular little duo of finding, getting her easy layups. And I know Aaliyah's like, damn, I understand what number 45 was getting layups by just running the court, setting screens and diving, because she's always looking for it. And Aaliyah Boston should have definitely dived on that pick and roll on that last play. And guess what? Caitlin Clark would have did a little wraparound pass that she's getting in trouble for, 
for a lot of times people are coming to steal it, but nobody's going to steal it on that time, especially if Aaliyah Boston dives to the basket hard. Nobody's going to get in front of that big body. And then she has a layup, but she gets fouled, and then she goes to the line, she hits one or two free throws, game over. But they have to play more to Caitlin Clark's style. Caitlin Clark, she's, she's the leader of the team. She's the leader score. She's the leader. No matter what, how many shots Mitchell gets up and, and do it, and she's a black hole. And, you know, sometimes that's good. That's like, remember when LeBron played with, no, not, not LeBron. Was it LeBron? He played with a couple players. Was it Larry Hughes and, and all those guys? And they weren't really understanding that LeBron should be having the ball as much as he should. And they kind of, you know, he passed it and he didn't really get it back sometimes. And that's what I feel is happening with Caitlin Clark. And this, the main culprit is Mitchell. When she gets the ball, she doesn't give it back to Caitlin Clark. But Caitlin Clark should definitely be getting the ball. But Caitlin and and and, and Mitchell, you know, she doesn't pass the ball back. But Caitlin gets in sometimes where she, I don't know if she feel like she don't want to step on toes or she don't want to come in and just be that, you know, that guy sometimes or that lady who is the motherfucker. And she passes the ball and she goes stands in the corner. And it could be because, you know, well, the space is going to be different. Y'all should be able to score four on four. Because it's so much more space. Because my guy is going to be, my person who's guarding me is going to be hugged up on me. But no, she needs to get the ball. She needs to direct traffic. She she needs to go back into the pick and roll more. And and do what they were doing the whole time. So when they do get in the half court offense, run the pick and roll. Do it multiple times until you get the, like, the, the shot you like, the look you like, or the other people open to shoot open threes and, and layups. And you go from there. But um, I don't know how I got to Caitlin Carp because she's that damn good. But Angel Reese, I just wanted to give a shot at her. It was an amazing game. It was fun to watch. Um, but this is what we're here to see. Put both of them on the Olympic team. I don't care. I'm at that point where put Angel Reese on the Olympic team, put Caitlin Clark on the Olympic team. The 11th and 12th spot. They can make room. Make room. Get these ladies on the team. They're up and coming. This is what we want to see. Put them on the roster. Most of the games going to be blown out anyway. They can play 15 minutes. And they are proving that they're both good enough. Nobody rebounds like Angel Reese. Nobody offensive rebounds like Angel Reese. And nobody could pass the ball like Caitlin Clark. I don't care who has more assists, because Caitlin Clark probably should be leading the league with nine assists, ten assists. That game, she should have had 18 assists. By the third quarter, drop passes, drop passes. Miss, oh my God, the girl threw the ball under the rim, and she's left-handed. She got a dime pass that not most NBA players can't make. It was amazing to see. And the girl threw the ball under the rim from the left side. Somebody like, she's had to speed up for to get the ball. I say, no. <laughs> what? Y'all cut it out. She sped up because she adjusted to the timing and pace of the ball. But if she wasn't out of control, she became out of control because she just flung it up. And then she, and then Caitlin Clark passes the ball up on the other play because she's just so damn nice. They get a mad scramble for the ball. She picks it up and she kicks it to the other girl who's goes over there and she does this reverse layup under the basket. And I'm like, Caitlin Clark, hold the ball and make sure y'all get a good one. Or the girl, you see you don't got nothing. You know you can't make layups. <laughs> you barely make them when you're open, but you think that you could go do this reverse layup. Come on, Caitlin Clark, I need to be more aggressive. Like, nobody's going to say anything to you because guess what? They'll be out the fucking building. They're not going to get you out the building. Everybody else will go. So they're going to have to accept that you're the, the best player on the team, and they got to play around that and get their shots off of you. But you have to be the creator. You have to be the person who controls it and make everything go. And that's all I wanted to say. I'm sorry. It, it wasn't even supposed to go this long. I guess I've been wanting to talk about the game for a while. Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, that's Nick's feelings on uh, Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark. I'm not the only one that speaks these things and says these things. Um, he's mentioning a number of plays that I put on the and, 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 and analyzing the game um but hell i'm gonna talk i'm gonna talk now too real quick because angel reese i said if she went for 25 and 15 i would flat out congratulate her she balled her ass off man she she played hard she single-handedly won that game for them she got them back in it do i think every foul was a foul no, I think she got away with a push off in the back on one of them. I question why Nalissa Smith is guarding her 22 feet from the basket. 
because she's never going to take that shot. Because it became uh, personal. These, these, exactly. But these are the things that when I'm watching and doing an, an analysis of the game, I'm not looking at it from like, okay, the LeBron, JJ, Reddick podcast, pocket pass, elbows. To, to, I'm not doing that. I'm talking about I'm watching the game and I'm watching their pick and roll and I'm watching Aaliyah Boston pop out to the top of the key rather than darting to the basket. The final play of the game, she, 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 she pops out for a 21-footer. If she just goes right to the basket, Kaitlyn Clark will wrap that, that, that shit, wrap, take another wrap dribble, around, she's been doing. wrap it right around, and it would have been a layup. There was no one there. The one covering in the corner would not have gotten there. Angel Reese would not have gotten there in time. Cardoso was, on the, was double teaming. It would have been a fucking layup. Now, if she makes it or not. We yeah, she misses it. I can't say it, but she's getting a layup attempt. At worst, she's getting a five footer. And hey, if she gets fouled, who knows? But she's getting a much easier look than what than she a got. Twenty one footer that she put off of the backboard, two feet left of the rim. Like the three pointer that she hit was a prayer. The possession before that, like she's only going to hit that shot once or twice in a ten. Like we, like she can't shoot. But that those are examples of plays. I mean, the, the Kelsey Mitchell gets a pass and she on a bounce pass and she literally puts a left-handed lip onto the bottom of the backboard. And you're left-handed. <laughs> it's your, you got at least get it. Like at least if you said you were right-handed, she's a lefty. If at least get it on the rim. If it rolled off the rim and it just it's went a off the left-handed back. layup. It went under Kelsey the rim. Kelsey Mitchell drops a, misses another layup on a backdoor pass from Aaliyah Boston in the last two minutes uncontested layup misses the just shoots the ball over the rim uh they call christy sides is calling a play for nalissa smith down two where nalissa smith misses air balls a four foot layup but why is that play being called this is the type of shit and then they just cut their best defensive player who's been sitting on the bench who should be playing ahead of erica wheeler and and Wallace, I mean Mil Mitchell's never seen Wallace is number three. What, Mitchell's never seen a shot she doesn't like. <laughs> she passed the ball to Caitlin Clark three times the entire game. It should be the entire game. There was a play where Caitlin Clark gave her the ball on the wing, and Caitlin Clark is to her right on in the corner, wide open, and Kelsey Mitchell takes the shot. But Caitlin's always she looking took, for her. She took, she took a covered shot. Caitlin's wide open for a wide open shot. You're like, like what, are, are you guys playing together? And no. then people will show these videos where Caitlin Clark's like, like this. She made a pass to Erica Wheeler on a fast break, and Wheeler stops 15 feet from the rim when she has a beeline right to the rim and, for a layup. And then she becomes and, and one mixtape. Dribbling the circles. And, and one mixtape. Fucking Showtime hot sauce. <laughs> Erica Wheeler's from South Florida, by the way. She played down here in high school. Erica Wheeler plays in the WNBA like she thinks she's in high school. You can't dribble in circles and get shit done. She had a nice, they lost that they, easy uh, mid range shot. You know that she's she's like one of the highest paid players. She's like the highest paid player in the league. Erica Wheeler makes like two hundred fifty grand a year. Hmm. Like, but they have her out like. She shouldn't be on this team, to be honest. They put her out there. They give her the ball. They move Caitlin off the ball, and the entire offense stops. They run the same play like five or six straight times. They don't run. They're screening. They're screening. The women don't hold the screen. And I will also blame. I also blame Caitlin Clark. Yes, because she doesn't. She doesn't tighten the screen. No, like edge the screen with the ball. No, she kind of like gaps it too much. Mm -hmm. But they're not even holding the screen. They're moving before she even gets there half the time. Mm -hmm. They don't hold the screen. So, so with the screen roll where you're not diving to the rim, Aaliyah Boston should dive to the rim every fucking time, yeah. every time. Because that it, it, that girl is gonna find you. It's been proven. But think. And then there was a play where Aaliyah Boston kicks it out to Nalissa Smith in the corner for a three. No one's guarding her. Hey, ball. This bro, this bra takes the three. She can't shoot. Like, why do you think she's open? Why didn't she take? We're talking about Alyssa Smith. Nalissa Smith, yeah. number, the, the big girl. Yeah, yeah. 
Clean shoes. Take your take two dribbles in. Make it a ten footer. No one's guarding you. No one was guard. No one was outside the key when she took that shot. They're like, take the shot, please. Yeah. We, we we thank you for that. You know, uh, Mitchell dropping the pass that hits her right in the hands for an easy layup early on, and then right before the half, Caitlin Clark throws mm-hmm. a pass to her that bounces to her, and she moves out of the way. She would have had a. That's a three point jump shot. I'm not saying she makes it. She's been making, but but in, but it was a wide open, a wide open look. She made what? Like four and she of makes five wide of? open shots. She makes wide open shots. You know, she takes a lot of bad contested shots, but she typically makes wide open shots because she's wide open most of the game because they don't guard her. They don't guard her most of the game. You know, but Caitlin Clark, she now averages less points for him than than Mitchell. By the way. Believe it or not. Okay. Because she takes less shots. Yeah. And Christy Sides as a coach is as bad as I've ever seen. Like, she is an example of someone who cannot adjust to what she has. No. She was taught to do something. At least in JJ, what JJ Reddick said was correct. You have to adapt. Of course. You have to adjust to what you have. Yes. The game has evolved. Yeah. You have the best shooter in the world on your team, and you are taking the ball out of her hands. You are you have made her so uncomfortable to shoot. Nick, I know we said she has to be aggressive, but this is happening because of shit that's going on in that locker room. I, I, because of I, shit that coach has been saying to her, saying, I want you to get other people involved. And she passes up on a 10-foot mid-range shot. She passes up like the, a floater. She naturally She's wide gets, open. She naturally she gets ha- people involved though. So just gotta let them. naturally, naturally. And but I think you can't now it's like certain players. You can't, you like can't let overcoach the... great players. You have to let them make their mistakes. You're gonna have to accept it. Bro. You're, gonna, you're gonna correct it a little bit, and you say, "Hey, maybe if we do this and this way, that that." Everybody don't get coached the same. That's just like no, for you can't for anybody in this. I everybody get a trophy world to think that everybody's gonna get coached the same. That's just not how it goes. Some players could get coached harder than others. Some people could take it. Some people can't. And some people are better and some people are worse. And you have to deal with that accordingly. And that's just what it is. And all that baby and this and that, she's the best player. Give her the ball. If y'all don't like it and y'all don't find a way to like it, y'all won't be here. It's plain and simple. Put your fucking foot down. Let it be known. She's the peop- She's the reason. And if you want to be a reason with her, make yourself good enough to be here <laughs> along with the main person. Yeah, I, I, I'm at that point where every time I watch another guy's podcast, who does a lot of stuff on Indiana, and it's, it's hilarious watching this guy because he basically crushes Christy Sides. Christy Sides is horrible. I, I, I can't keep saying it, but I, I got to. She's horrible because you were given gold. And you're turning it into shit. And think about the fact that you said that Kate, Angel Reese has closed the gap on Rookie of the Year. Considering that the, the last game they both played was that game, Caitlin Clark had 17, 13, 6, and 4. Yeah. And we both know that she could have had 20 assists she by the could. end of the third quarter. If they, if, if Alyssa Smith could catch the ball that was dropped in her hands for a layup that she dropped, if Aaliyah Boston had not missed two point blank uncontested layups, if Wallace had not missed a point black uncontested layup, if Kelsey Mitchell didn't drop three passes for layups, or I'm sorry, throw one into the bottom of the backboard, <laughs> if Katie Lou Samuelson doesn't miss an absolutely uncontested wide open three that she fucking airballed, like, why are you even out there? You're airballing a wide open three? Nick, we don't even see NBA players who can't shoot airball wide open threes. Mm-hmm. It's but something. this is a girl whose entire job is to actually shoot, and all she can do is airball the goddamn freaking. I mean, come on, bro! Like, it, it, it's insane to me. Um, I, 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 I just had enough of it. And even in the, in the in the fourth quarter, she kicked it out to Wallace in the fourth quarter in the corner, wide open. Brick, you put, you put, you were supposed to put Cardo. That was a three in the corner, and put, then you had the one. Go you're ahead. supposed to put Cardosa in a pick and roll every play, like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And, and maybe can they play zones in in, in WNBA? I, I have no idea. 
But then, but then finally she has that pass to Wallace, and Wallace goes in for that reverse hit. Hold the ball, bring the shit back out. What get are you doing? Her. But they, but then they get blessed and get the ball back, and they run a screen roll that has Caitlin Clark moving the wrong direction. Like who, who calls these plays? Like who, who? They could, and then there was one point where Wallace had the ball in last minute, and she throws an entry pass to freaking to Leah Boston, but she's throwing it like straight on to her, and it gets knocked out of bounds because it's a horrible. End. Why won't. does Wallace have the ball? Christy Christy size won't be there next year. We, oh, she yeah, no, she's done. But I heard that but, she um, got the job on some. She yeah, didn't really want the and, job type yeah. ish. She didn't want it. They, they should hire Lisa Bluter so they can make Caitlin Clark be the player she can be because this shit's ridiculous. Thank you for watching. Come on now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.